Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm here with another new indie game. It is called Morals The Hunt. Morals are these little brainy looking mushrooms that grow, uh, I think they grow in the western US? I think? I don't know, I've never seen them in the wild, but I know that they're edible and that people go and they pick them in the mountains and stuff. Um, so this game intrigued me because it was described as basically like a hunting game. Except instead of hunting and killing poor innocent animals who never done you any harm, you are hunting for mushrooms. So uh, it's supposed to function like one of those hunting games, but you're not hurting anything. You take photos of animals and you try to find mushrooms. And that sounded uh, delightful to me. It sounded very wholesome. Uh, I did actually jump in and give this one a try earlier, and I tried it with the gamepad, with my Xbox 360 gamepad. And I have to say, I found the controls really kind of clunky and difficult to use, so I am now giving it another go with the mouse and keyboard, and I'm hoping that it will uh, work a little bit better. As always, we're gonna jump in and take a look at the settings, and we got all kinds of settings here. Um, hmm? Cannot seem to move this. Okay, scroll wheel moves it, but you can't click and drag it. Odd. Uh, in any case, we've got all kinds of, uh, just all kinds of options here. This is, this is all great. I think you can see it for yourself. Uh, audio, we've got separate sliders for stuff. We can rebind the key controls, it looks like. Uh, we've got English, and there's German, Russian, supply Chinese, and Spanish available. And then we've got a green circle guide. We can change the view, mouse sensitivity. Good on the options. I am pleased with these options. I like these options. These are good. Uh, I'm going to start a new game. We'll call this uh, Let's Play. Really? Really? <laughs> Uh, I did I did find the game a little bit clunky while I was playing it before. Uh, I will also say... Mm, I'll go over that one again. Uh, I will also say uh, I've never played a hunting game before, so I am going to be coming at this from the perspective of somebody who has not played a hunting game and does not have anything to compare it to, really. So I'm just sort of, as a, as a total newbie to this type of this style of gameplay, giving my opinion. So if you are familiar with hunting type games, you might have different opinions. Uh, leave them in the comments and let us know. I would love that. Uh, I am going to turn the tutorial on because I haven't played it with the mouse and keyboard and I don't know what the controls are going to be like. So hopefully it has detected that I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard and it will give me the proper tutorial. Uh, these pictures are very beautiful. Very beautiful. Give it a, a moment to load here. Okay, that was odd. I just jumped from 13% to 100%, but I guess that's all right. Welcome to Morals the Hunt. First, let's learn what the moral mushroom looks like and how to pick them up. Press enter to continue. Okay, let's walk over to the flashing arrow. Oh my goodness, that is a very sensitive. Can we go into the settings? Can we uh, reduce the mouse sensitivity by just so much, please? How's this gonna be? What if we, what if we do this? Okay, that's a little bit too low, but it's not as low as you would expect it to be. Goodness gracious, so maybe put it up to... It is kind of hard to grab these. Uh, it doesn't seem to to uh, to be where I expect it to be. That's pretty good, I think. Um, wow. Just out of curiosity, I have to know. I have to know. Am I going to regret this? Yep. Oh my goodness! Ah, ah, okay. No human is ever going to need it that sensitive. Come on, people who made this game. <laughs> That is absurd. Let's bring that back down to about, what were we on, about 10, 12, something like that. There we go, that's fine. And yeah, that's that's about what I would expect it to be. Um, great, now look down, these are morals. Yeah, brain mushrooms. I know. I know what they look like. I see them. Let's get a better look at them. Hold down to crowd, hold down the right mouse button. Oh yeah, it's moral, alright. My hand is in the way, but I do see it. Okay, great. You know what they look like? Let's learn how to pick them up. That would be very helpful. I do have to press enter to continue, which means I have to take my hand off the mouse and go and hit enter, which is a little bit annoying. Down again, do you see a green circle by your feet? Press enter when you see it. Well, of course I see it. I'm not, I'm not blind. I can see it very well. Now walk over to a moral to move to the circles over it. There we go. Did it. Now what? What's next? Come on, tutorial. Let's go. Circle will light up in large and you can pick up the moral. Yeah, I guessed. E, hold down E, pick up a moral. Did it? I did it! When do I let go? I let go now? Okay. <laughs> Can also pick up a mushroom while crouching. Press enter to continue. Try crouching, pick up a moral. See, it moves the circle when you crouch. This interface is very clunky. Okay, it's... It says hold E, and if you hold it, it just keeps right on doing it. 
It doesn't tell you when to stop holding E. <laughs> now I know what they look like, how to pick them up. Let's try out your camera. Okay? Your camera, C to open your camera. C. Yeah. Try taking a picture. Okay, left click to take a picture. Scroll to zoom in and out. Take a picture of this goat. Let's take a picture of this goat's butt. Oh no, wait, wait. There we go. This is nice. Shows you a little, a little, let's see what you photographed. Press P. Is that P? Why is this one lowercase? The other ones are uppercase. Open your photos. And now it's capital here. It's capital here and lowercase in the other one. Um, okay, it's a goat. I did it. Um, I do keep having to take my hand off the mouse, though, which I don't love. You earn points and reach higher levels by taking pictures of animals throughout the game. Enter. Now go find the goat and try taking a picture of it. I already did this. So you will open the camera. Go away. I got it. Go away. Well, I guess it is lowercase here as well. Do I have to... Okay. <laughs> White circle will turn green when the animal is in focus. So you have to zoom until it's in focus. Which I find very unintuitive because it doesn't visually change at all. I got 15 points for photographing a goat. <laughs> Let's open your inventory. Get items throughout the game. You can use them here. Press I to open your inventory. Okay, and nothing there. You purchase items from the store, you can use them here. Now let's close your inventory. You did it. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this game. Great work, now open the game menu. You'll be able to change settings here as well as view info like morals, levels, and animals photograph. Press tab to open the menu. Why well, press the skate to open this before? Well, nothing wrong with having two options. Okay, there's all kinds of information here, which I do not understand. I guess that's it. I did it. That's the, that's the end of the tutorial. You ready to begin the moral hunting season? Head back inside the house. I do feel like I didn't learn very much, if I'm totally honest. Go in here. I guess. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> I suppose so, tutorial. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! I have not seen this before. Ah! It's Squirrel Pong. I am awesome at Squirrel Pong. Oh, the computer is very jittery at Squirrel Pong. <laughs> yeah, block that. Block that. Huh? Computer? Whoops. <laughs> well, it was interesting. That was an interesting little mini game. It doesn't work very well. Cabin in the woods. It's not ominous at all. I know that there's not supposed to be anything dangerous in this game, I don't think. It's supposed to be quite peaceful. But, uh... It's freaking me out a bit. Okay, so... Here's the first thing- oh my goodness. Let's go over your objectives, yes. Find as many mushrooms as you can, got it. Photograph as many different animals as you can, sure. Find the golden moral in each level and complete weekly tasks. Well, that's a lot of goals to throw at me when you just gave me like a two minute tutorial. Sheesh, happy hunting. Let's see how, let's see how I can do here. Um, but this is some- this is the first thing that I noticed when I tried to play this before. Is the camera, the motion blur. I need 25 mushrooms. Five morals. Um, the only way I can see anything is if I stay perfectly still. Because if I move at all, it instantly gets super blurry. And I don't know how well that's going to come through on the video. But I basically feel like I'm just drunk walking around. And I cannot see a thing. And even when I'm walking, it gets really blurry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try reducing the uh, video stuff. Can we just do an auto? Let's do an auto medium. Right? I had everything kind of on epic. Let's put everything on medium and see if that helps. A little bit, but it still gets blurry. It still gets blurry whenever I move. I don't love that. Uh, it said I had stuff in my inventory. Take my hand off the mouse. We got first aid kit. Eh? It says, removes ticks. 50% of no ticks. There's ticks? I, you, I wasn't informed of ticks. Excuse me. You did not tell me anything about ticks. You didn't say a word about ticks. Energy to 100%. Mark where you found morals in the minimap. Okay, I feel like I have not been properly informed about this game. Can I jump? I can. Ooh, I got a very floaty jump. Okay, now I feel like... I'm sorry, folks. We're going to get there in the end. Now I feel like it's, it's too... Uh... There we go. That's better. I don't know what that little message just was. It popped up. I'm a looker for mushrooms. We got some cheerful music playing. 
I don't suppose the mushrooms are going to be growing on the path, are they? I'm probably going to have to go off the path to find the mushrooms. But apparently there's ticks out here. Why would I come out here knowing there's ticks with just one thing of spray, though? Wouldn't I, wouldn't I, like, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and use the spray. Let's just use it for today, because I'm probably only going to do one day anyway, right? Um, I don't see any morals over here. No morals over here. Can I run? I can kind of go a little bit. I, don't, I wouldn't call that running. I can walk slightly faster. Uh, but I have an energy bar up there. You see that in the top right? That looks like an energy bar. Wow, those lower level graphics sure do smooth out that bridge, eh? What's that? It's a bug. Can I take a photo of this? <laughs> Let's take a photo of this. That's a spoder! That's definitely a spider that's right there. Okay. I guess that doesn't count for my points. No points for spoder. Fine, then. Spoders are animals, too. I got lots of them in my apartment. We have learned to coexist in peace. Because if we didn't, then I would be miserable all the time. Because you can't get rid of them. There's too many. And they have babies, and when they have babies, they have like a thousand babies. So... Yeah. What what has drained that bit of my energy bar? Because I don't seem to be losing energy. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just check over here if I see any mushrooms. No mushrooms. No mushrooms over here. Um, I don't seem to be losing energy from walking around. Was it that little bit of jogging that I did? Was it my jump? The one jump that I took? Did that suck away some of my energy? I don't know where to look for. Oh! Animal. Oh, oh, oh! Stop moving! Stop moving! I'm trying to photograph- Oh! I can't get- Oh, this is really hard. I, I need to get closer, I think. It looks like it's stuck up there. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I missed! No, no, no! Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is very tricky. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. I can do this. It's ears right there. Ah! Ah! Oh no! It's coming right for me! Ah, oh, crap. I lost it. I lost- I think it was a bunny? I don't know where it went. I think I'm more likely to get photographs of animals than I am to find mushrooms, because I have no idea where the mushrooms are going to be. How would I know where to find- I've never done this before. I've never hunted for mushrooms before. Have any of you folks ever hunted for mushrooms? Tell me about it. Leave me a comment and tell me about your mushroom hunting experiences. Mushroom hunting is very popular where I live. Like, super popular. Everybody goes mushroom hunting. Like, right around now, actually, it's probably mushroom hunting season. I'm gonna start seeing people with their great big baskets full of, full of mushrooms. Not morals. Morals don't grow here. I'm in Europe. And they have other types of mushrooms here, which I don't really know the names of. Wait, did I get turned around? I think I did. I did get- that's- that dang bunny. That critter. It confused me. Ugh. <sighs> I got- look at that big zero next to the mushrooms up there in the top right. Just taunting me. You don't have any mushrooms. How pathetic are you? You don't have to call me pathetic, game. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> it's not nice. Man, the geometry really is poor with the setting at this level, though, isn't it? Let me see if I can go for the the high setting and see, see how that looks. In case anyone is... Oh, but it is just so blurry, though. I can't, can't do it. We're gonna have to go medium. We're gonna have to go medium. Nothing else for it. But, uh... Oh, look at the little swing over here. Oh, we found a swing. At least it appears to be stuck in mid-swing. That's a bird. Is that a bird I can photograph? Because I got a camera. And I have wasted several photos already. That's not a mushroom. That's a rock. I feel like the mushrooms are going to stand out a lot better with the, uh, the graphics turned down like this. If I can find any... There just don't seem to be any out here. Man. 
Well, the mushrooms that people pick here, the wild mushrooms people pick here are, uh... They're big, and they're fat. And they say you gotta, you gotta find the ones that have holes in the bottom, rather than the ones that have ribs in the bottom. Like, underneath the cap. Because the ones that have ribs are often poisonous, they say. I, I wouldn't go, uh, taking that and assuming that it's true everywhere, though. I think that's specific to this region. There's definitely a really annoying bird around here somewhere. And I bet it's desperate for a photo, and it's trying to get my attention. It's probably posing. And I just can't spot it. I don't know where it is. Probably in one of these low-poly trees. It is a bit of an odd sort of juxtaposition, isn't it? with the, the graphics turned down, because some of it looks quite photorealistic, and some of it just looks like... blobs. Where, where do morals usually appear? Where do you usually find them? Do you find them by the water? I think I remember reading something about- Oh! oh I found one! It's- it's there! Uh, E. I did it! Putting down a mushroom marker will help you remember this location. Yeah, alright. Alright, we can do that. Use it. Stick it here. Yeah, there's another one! Oh yes! Gimme this. Gimme this. Arrgh. I guess I don't have to hold down the E for very long. It told me to hold it down. It didn't say just hold it down for a second. I was holding it down for ages. Was wasting my time. Alright, come on. Come on, mushrooms, there's gotta be more than two of you here. It's just gotta be. But where? I could be wrong. That might be it. There might just be the two of them. Maybe there'll be more tomorrow? What time is it? It says day one, 2.29 p.m. Aw, I'm disappointed now. I got all excited just for a moment. I get a little rush of endorphins just for like five seconds. Then it was done, and they were gone. My two mushrooms. What was my goal? 25? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Game, you need to set you need to set the bar a little lower at the start, please. This is not this is not happening. Okay, it was right here. Alright, well. They're hard to see a little bit. They're a little hard to spot. Maybe I could turn the graphics all the way down. Alright, I do want to see what it looks like. What if you're playing this on a potato, and you need it all the way down to low? No, no, no. Everything low. Low, low, low. Everything low. No- Oh, you can turn off the motion blur specifically! Wait a second, they put that in there on purpose? Why would anyone do that? Why would you want a motion blur? Whoa! Ha! <laughs> Holy crap, look at that! Oh, my eyes! That does hurt a little. All right, we're gonna... <laughs> That's too low, though. I think that was these... If we just hit... Let's leave this as better. Yeah, that's better. There was something in there that you needed to be to be turned on. <laughs> this is this still looks awful, though. Medium settings it is. We've tried them all out, uh, but can I... Turn off the motion blur? Yeah, turn off the motion blur, though. I don't want any motion blur. That is, that is a terrible thing. Hey, let's take these beautiful graphics and let's make them blur beyond recognition every time you move the mouse. That's not helpful, game designers. Don't do that. Have that off by default, please. I mean, I'm sure they put a lot of work into making that happen. I just don't understand why. When humans walk around, our eyes do not blur every time we turn our heads. We're very good at, at, at following motion and stuff. I'm just gonna follow this river for a bit. Time is passing really quickly. I don't know if you guys noticed. Um, I must be a very slow walker. Because we've been out here for hours, according to that thing. And it definitely hasn't been hours in, in, in our world. Oh, what's over here? We got over here. I'm going through all the tall plants. I'm going to be covered in the ticks. We've got, we've got this. We've got a shack. Is this an animal observatory shack, maybe? Perhaps? Low poly shack is what it is. I'm just wandering totally at random. I don't know where I've been. Everything looks the same. I hear birds again. I'm so bummed I didn't get that photo. I was so close. You all saw it, didn't you? You all—you're my witnesses. 
You saw me almost get a photo of that rabbit. I wonder if I just like, if I give up on the mushrooms, <laughs> right? If I just pick a spot and stand still for a while, will the animals come to me? Or do you really have to go out and find them? That's what I want to know. It's the main thing that I'm interested in now. How do I get beautiful photos of the animals? What happens if I'm out after dark? Like, I gotta go back to that cabin, right? What's over here? Why do we have this? Why do we have this? I thought this was gonna be a bridge. I hear birds again. Is it just ambiance? Is that just ambient noise or is it like... Is there a... <gasps> Oh, what's the controls? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Where'd you go? <gasps> no, 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 don't move. Don't move. No! Oh, it's as far as I can zoom. No! They move as soon- They move as soon as you focus on them. Oh, that is- That is not cool. Animals don't know when you have them in focus. What- What is this? Why does this go to dead end? Why is there a bridge here? <laughs> so confused. Critter, please come, please return, Critter. I need you to come back. I, I just need to photograph you. It's cool, I'm not gonna do any harm. I have had a very unsuccessful day and you could really turn things around for me, friend. I don't feel like I'm asking you for a lot. Just, like, literally just need you to stand still for, like, five seconds. That's all. No? Asking too much. I'm asking too much. Alright. Well, asked and answered. Now I know. What's this bright yellow over here? Oh, the flowers. Is that flowers? Wait, are those mushrooms? <gasps> those are mushrooms! Uh, eat. Oh, I got chanterelles! Oh, those grow here! Those grow here, they're called lishki, it means foxes. Fox mushrooms. Oh, heck yes. These, these are delicious. <gasps> oh, it takes so long to get the dang- <gasps> Yes! Yes, I got the squirrel! <laughs> I did it! Oh my goodness. I have never been so excited to see a squirrel. Go away, look at this little friend. Hi there. Thank you for letting me photograph you. Ah, 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 it's coming right at me. Ah! <laughs> I found chanterelles. Ooh, these are delicious. Uh, I'm joking. Friends, this is a joke. There may be children watching this. If you ever see a mushroom like this, do not eat it. Don't put it anywhere near your face. Don't even touch it. All right, these are Amanitas. I think they're called fly, fly agaric. Very poisonous. Please don't eat those. Don't eat, just, if, if a mushroom is red, don't touch, just don't touch it. Leave it alone. That is not food for you. It's important to know, right? It's a public service announcement. This is an educational, as there's more. There's more Amanitas. I mean, they're very pretty. I do like looking at them. There is a Czech game studio called Amanita Design, and they make some of my favorite games. They made a Machinarium and Botanicula. Oh, there's a car over here for some reason. Sure, why not? Uh, they made Hugel. Which they say it's okay if people pronounce it chucho because they don't expect non Czech speakers to be able to say hukel. I'm pretty sure I say it wrong too. I'm finding so many of the Amanitas. Are there any mushrooms in the car? Excuse me, have you brought the delivery? Have you brought the delivery of morals? You haven't. You forgot them. I don't appreciate this. Why are you here? Why are you even here if you didn't bring me mushrooms? What is the point of you? Um. What time is it? 5.46 p.m. I don't know how late I'm allowed to be out here. What happens if I'm out too late? Am I gonna fall and hurt myself? I have that first aid kit. I'm curious what the purpose of that is. What can I do to hurt myself while I'm out looking for mushrooms? We're not exactly in dangerous terrain here. Alright. Um, the, the shack is over over here. The little cottage where I'm staying in. The cabin. Cabin, that's the word. Not cottage, not shack. Just cabin. Maybe start heading back that way. Maybe there's something behind the cabin? I only went in this direction. I didn't look behind it. I have to say, uh, I think I am going to wrap up this video after one day. I'm not going to I'm not gonna try to, to play through multiple days. Oh, there's a well here. Look at this. There's a well. Get my water. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible well. 
Who designed this well? It's an art installation, maybe. It's not a well at all. Ceci n'est pas un well. I don't know how to say well in French. I don't know how to say much of anything in French, but I know that. That painting by Magritte. Um, I have to say, it's a bit clunky. It is a bit clunky. Uh, the visuals, as you can see, it takes some fiddling to get them at a tolerable level. However, at the current settings with the motion blur turned off, that makes a huge difference. Actually, let's try one last. If we put it, if we put it on Epic, but we just turn off the motion blur. How does it look now? The sensitivity goes up. The sense the mouse sensitivity goes up when you improve the graphics. That doesn't make any sense. Let's try sticking it there. How's this? Um, this is all right, actually. There is still a bit of motion blur, I think, just because of the sensitivity. It's it's still a little bit higher than I want it to be. Like if I flick the mouse, it's that's bananas. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Let's tweak. Let's tweak at the very end of the video. Let's just keep tweaking. Let's get it down to like uh, eight. How about eight? Eight out of a hundred, by the way. Just a reminder. That's eight out of one hundred possible numbers. It's turned down very low. Man, there's no morals out here. There are very few morals in this location. I do find it harder to see with the with the visuals turned up because as I say, it does still feel like there's a bit of motion blur. Even though the motion blur, the the intentional motion blur is turned off. Are those champignons? Yeah. That's a, that's a something. What are what are those called in in English? Puffball mushroom. These are edible mushrooms. Oh, that's just excellent. I may not have found very many morals. And I found some- I found some puffballs. I found some chanterelles. Uh... It's getting dark. It'd be getting harder to see. If you have a headlamp, you may want to turn it now. Birds and other animals are going to sleep. And head back in or try to brave the night. I don't think I have a headlamp. I don't. So... Oh my goodness, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! You guys! Right at the end of the day, as the sun is going down... Whole bunch of morals. Just, like, right behind- right behind that shack. Right- not shack. Right behind the cabin. Use the nice word, Ira, come on. That little circle, you have to look all the way down. Oh my goodness! I can't see anything. Let's head back to the cabin. So back to the cabin, let's count our marshmallows. We got 10 morals, and we found puffballs. Why don't I have a flashlight? And why does it get dark so fast? I have never in my life ever seen night fall so quickly. <laughs> we found some mushrooms, we did it! Um, as, as I started to say, uh, for all that the... Go shopping and choose new locations to hunt. Ticks will be removed and your health will be restored. I don't think I got any ticks. Um, let's go shopping. <laughs> I want a hundred bug sprays, please. Tick remover, bug spray. Mushroom markers. Camping tent. Headlamp. It costs a thousand. A thousand monies. Energy bar. Well, I didn't need that. Camera upgrade. First aid kits. Hiking shoes. Presumably they make you go faster. Well, I don't have much money, do I? I have 56 points. I can get one bug spray. Let's get one bug. One small bug spray. <laughs> let's let's check out. Let's check out the uh, the available stuff. 98 days remaining. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that is a lot of that is a lot of mushroom hunting. That is a long campaign. Settings is just the settings. Hunting. Oh yeah, you can move. Oh, we can't move yet. Southeast region. Day 29. Okay, day 15 will unlock the southwest. It's only day 2, so we gotta stay where we are, I think. And this is unlocked on day 8, so we gotta spend a week here at the cabin in the woods. So this has really got quite a lot of, of, of a campaign here. I mean, I don't know if I would call it a lot of content, but I guess it feels like a lot of content. Um, so yeah, for all the sort of bits of clunkiness and uh, things like that, I have to admit I'm having a good time, folks. I am having a good time. Um, I, I think I'm gonna keep playing. I think I'm gonna keep playing this. Uh, so let's, um, 
Let's, let's head back to the menu. Let's quit. Quit current game. Uh, lo load up that menu screen with a beautiful picture of the morals. Uh, that's morals the hunt. So if that looks like your type of thing, you can pick that up. That has just come out on Steam. And, you know, if this just isn't your cup of tea and you're not interested at all, then do not worry, my friends, because, you know, I will always come back. I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and it'll be something totally different, and you never know, it might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you next time. Paint eagle, so like an eagle. Paint eagle, you so like an eagle, and you paint it like a rainbow. Paint eagle, he does some crazy stuff in Minecraft with command blocks and redstone. Paint eagle, so like an eagle. Paint eagle.